Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ4E, and welcome back to The Infected. And, you know, I was just looking at my awesome wall over here, and I was like, yeah, that wall is dope. That wall is dope. And then I was looking around, and I was like, there's no spikes around it. I was like, oh, yeah, I had to get some spikes around this thing before Horde Night. And then I was like, Horde Night's got to be at least a, a night or two away, right? Right? A night or two away? It's not going to be, like, tomorrow or anything. Yeah, um, Horde Night's tomorrow. So, yeah, that's going to be fun. That is day 103, man. I wrote it down. I wrote it down. And I've decided I'm not going to do this this episode. I will probably do it next episode, unless I come up with something else uh, to do for next episode. But for this episode, we're going to be working on the bedroom. I'd like to complete the bedroom today and hopefully, like, the entire ceiling above it. Uh, I don't see any reason why not, but it does take a lot of resources, uh, you know, pretty much for everything in this game. So, you know, we'll have to see how that treats us. I'm going to have to cut down a lot of trees. Shouldn't be too bad, but we'll have to see how it goes. I'm not really sure what roofs take. I think roofs take quite a bit. Yeah, roofs take too much. <laughs> I think. Yeah, for sure. But that's okay. We'll get it done today. No prob. First things first, though, we got to get these spikes all around this fence. Uh, are the enemies going to be jumping over the fence? I don't know. We're going to find out. We are going to definitely find out. I don't think they will anyway because of the, the water. I don't think they'll see the water as a way to go. I mean, I could have, like, not even done this fence over here. The only reason I'm doing it is for, you know, the symmetry of having the entire base locked in. Plus, the developer of the game definitely said he is going to make it so the enemies can walk over ice at some point. And I was like, why wait, you know? Why wait for a surprise enemy to run over the ice pack and kill me? Or probably all the enemies. They'd probably all come this way. Uh, so I was like, yeah, let's just make the let's make the wall now. Uh, so I don't think they'll jump over it, though. Because I don't think they'll see it as a valid path because of the ice. But I'm not going to I'm not gonna rely on that, though. I am going to do this fence. And the entire fence all the way around is going to be this high right here. And it's going to be super, super duper expensive. Super duper duper expensive, but um, I think I'll be able to do it. Well, I'll definitely be able to do it. it just depends on how much it's gonna, <laughs> how much it's gonna hurt. Chopping down all those trees makes my makes my muscles tired. All right. Well, it is uh, 7:30, but we only have a few more of these things to move, and then we will be good to go. I'm still trying to keep the inner sanctum uh, intact, but yeah, it's it's gonna be difficult. I'm running really, really low on spikes, and I could just craft some more. But I'd rather just use the ones I have. Um, I've had a f quite a few Horde Knights in this base. Nobody's gotten in. So I don't think I really need the Inner Sanctum. Although it is it is a nice fallback position. Alright, one more set of spikes should do it. And then I think we'll get a little bit of sleep. And then we'll have Horde Knight. Should be a lot of fun. Alright. Um, wow. I'm barely going to be able to close up the Inner Sanctum too. As a matter of fact, let's do that now. Just in case. So this is one door of the Inner Sanctum, and the other door is right here, and that is it. The Inner Sanctum is one, one set of spikes, and that's it. Used to be two, but now we have a much cooler base, so who cares? All right, let's put this thing down here, and what are my goals for today? Well, one thing I want to do today is I want to keep the upgrades going. I'd like to cook some more uh, ores, and then the bedroom is the main thing for today. So I've got like little secondary things I'd like to do, and then my main thing. Uh, looks pretty good to me. All right, and we should we should be good for Horde Night. Uh, we just need to put this right here. Close that. Did I use the big gate? I think I did. Yeah, I did use the big gate. So we got to put spikes in front of the big gate too, because uh, I went and got some ores uh, last time I played. So, uh, yep, yep, yep. Okay. Really? Just one? Huh. Okay. Well, I'm thinking one will be enough, honestly, for now at least. For this horde night. Should be okay. Alright, let's go sleep until the zombies come. We're gonna sleep until the zombies come to chew my face. They're not zombies, they're vambies. But nobody likes the name vambies. <laughs> yeah, nobody likes the name vambies. I like the idea of it. But yeah, the, the name... You know, eh, it could use some work. And day 103. 
And here comes the horde. So let's get to our op optimal spot, which is kind of in the middle. And you know what? It's coming in. I'll just do I'll just do work in here. Why not? Might as well. All right. So the only thing is I don't want to get caught. Uh, you know, weighed down in case they do break in. Okay. Be all right. Yep. Seems okay to me. We should go keep an eye on it. Didn't we lose some spikes last time? Pretty sure we did. I'm also pretty sure I didn't repair any. Well, no, I did repair stuff. Alright, see that guy going for the door? Screw you, pal. Screw you, pal. Okay. Here they come. They always come for this spot. Gotta make sure that spike lasts. It's doing okay so far. You know, let's make this go a little faster. Why not? Alright, where are the rest of them? Where are the rest of them? They're usually over here. Nope. Okay, oh, I never repaired that. There's one. One more. Where's the last one? Oh, I never put one in front of that door. Alright, whatever. I'm just gonna assume they're all dead, even though I know they're not. I want to loot. I want to loot, damn it! Oh, last one died somewhere. I think the last one got bored and went home. <laughs> Probably. Okay. So far this looks like a bunch of junk. Okay. Let's go inside and take a look. Alright. Uh, junk. I mean, I need sand, but I don't feel like carrying around that I don't need that bad. Uh, eh. I guess I'll hold on to the rest of this stuff. It's not that bad. Alright, cool. Another successful horde night. Oh, boy. Turning clay soil into clay is quite the ordeal. I mean, it's pretty easy. You just click, 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 click. You can't, like, hold down the button. You have to, like, let it go every time you do this. But, yeah, I'm going to need a lot of this clay. Uh, we are going to be working on uh, setting up for an upgrade episode. I'm thinking next episode. And again, I, re I'm, I change my mind all the time. So take, take this with a grain of salt. But next episode is going to be the rest of the fence. Level out the fence on top. Build all that like useless fence just to make it look cool. And then the one after that will probably be an upgrade episode. Because I'd really like to upgrade a good amount of this base. Because I never upgrade my bases. So... It just, it just feels unnecessary, you know, and it is time, very, very time consuming, so I don't normally do it, but we'll do it this time. We'll do it this time, or at least I'll try to do it this time. Uh, when I need six, four, five, six, there we go, and then we'll take this over here, and put it right there. Okay, and then we'll take one, two, three, four, five, six... And then we'll put this in there, this right there, this down here. We're going to have to start making the um, the bricks as well, because I don't have any bricks. Uh, this stuff I'm making right now is a cement. The cement is for the uh, foundations mostly, and it usually is the most expensive thing. Uh, but, I, you know, we do need the bricks for the walls. So, bricks aren't as expensive. They also seem to be a, a bit faster to make. So, I'm not really worrying about them, but we should probably make some today. You do need to, like, give them some time to dry. So, and I don't know how my power is going to handle this. It should be okay. I will take a look at it as soon as I'm done with the last machine. I can always turn stuff off if I have to. But I don't think it's going to be a problem. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah, still 340. I mean, that's, that's what I like to call not a problem. All right, so let's put these in here. One thing I will not do is upgrade until I have a full chest of this stuff. And the next one will give me a full chest. 
And then some. All right, so now we got to make bricks. Um, before we make bricks, let's grab this bad boy and let's go downstairs. And let's make sure that that clay machine, those clay machines are empty and, you know, producing. See, they're not producing. Ugh, I got to pay attention to that. I don't normally pay attention to those things. Oh, can you put regular oil in those? I think you can. So let's take a look. Alright, so what is it? Four in each? Uh, let's do this. Four. Okay, cool. You can use oil. Very good. Because I, eventually I would run out of that, you know. I don't do a lot of... I don't let my food spoil. So that other... I forget what it's called. What is that stuff called? That other uh, fuel, fuel thingy. Yeah, biofuel. Yeah. I'm not going to have a lot of that for long. That's for sure. All right, well, cool. So what we'll do now is we'll empty these out. And then throw them all in here and bring them upstairs. You know, I both love and hate the fact that when I come inside the building, I have to take off my, my like, you know, warm clothes. Otherwise, I'll overheat while I'm inside the building. It totally makes sense. It's very realistic. It's also just annoying. <laughs> all right, I do have some dry bricks over here that I'm going to go ahead and pick up. It's easier to pick up like this. When they're wet, they don't stack. When they're dry, they do. That's really nice. And then I'm going to make another set uh, when I'm done here. I'm going to show you guys how to do it in case we have new people here. Probably, you know, probably not many new people here, but you never know. it will be worth take a couple minutes and, and show you what's up. So put those in there. All right, so what you're going to want to take is four things of clay. Four stacks. Four. Four stacks of sand. Now I have two of these. Uh, I have two of the drying things set up. Uh, you need one stack, uh, one stack for each of the drying things, or no, two stacks. I'm sorry, two stacks for each of the drying things. So you put a stack of clay, stack of sand, boom. Stack of clay, stack of sand, boom. And we didn't drop any. Cool. I wasn't sure if I had enough room for it all. And then you put them in here. Now one stack of each will fill up one of these. I should probably make some more of these too. They're actually really cheap. So, um, I just, I don't really have a place to put them. It's the only reason I'm not making another one. Uh, I guess I could put them out here somewhere. Uh, so you gotta have a roof. Well, I don't know if you have to have a roof over them, but I like to have a roof over them. I could just put more out here. I can move this over here. And then just build more of these. Yeah, I think I will do that. But, not right now. Not right now. Let's go ahead and start working on the roof. I also have a lot of clay upstairs. At least I think I left the clay upstairs. I'm going to need a lot of clay for the roof. And I hope I left it upstairs. Also, where's my little... Th oh, here it is. Alright, so we're going to take this bad mamma jam and we're going to fill it up. Alright. Got a decent amount of logs. Not a ton, but some. Uh, I'm not going to be starting any more projects until I finish the projects I've got going already. At least that's my plan. You know, I mean, uh, I'm not guaranteeing I'm not going to start new projects. I'm just saying that's that's kind of what I'm I'm shooting for. That's the um, that's the idea. Because people are like, Cage, you never finish your projects. And I'm like, oh my god, you're right. Oh, also, when I was cutting trees, I take off all the foliage. But I like to put it back on for the video because the game does not look as good without it. There we go. So if you guys are cutting down trees, cutting up boulders, whatever, do any kind of work out there, I, I would strongly suggest considering... You know, um, turning off the foliage, unless you just don't care that much. Uh, it makes, like, finding the logs and stuff way, way freaking easier. Okay. So what we need to do is, we need to build this thing all the way around. Um, I, we put down all the poles, so that's cool. So why don't we go ahead and finish all the poles. Alright. Why are there two here? I don't know why. Well, now there's not two. Now there's only one. Three, and these are what, two each? Yes, sir. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three. And finish these up. Okay, there we go. Getting logs around is like the biggest problem in this game, except for lead. <laughs> Lead's a bigger problem for me personally. But yeah, getting, getting logs around this game is... Is, uh, oof. It is not easy. It really isn't. 
All right, three trips of wood up here. Should get a lot done. All right, good, good, good. Very good. And let's do this. And this. All right, I like it. I like it a lot. I'm going to do the roof next. Yeah, let's do the roof next. Faux show. All right, so this is going to be right there. 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 All right, this this part's going to be relatively painless now. We've gotten everything lined up the way we want it to. We might need some poles in here. Maybe? I'm not really sure. Uh, yeah, no, I think we'll be able to snap the... No, never mind. We probably won't need any poles. Okay. And then we're going to need uh, the roof. So right here. Come on. Work with me, bro. Yeah, that's it. And then I think we have to finish that before we can put another one on. Unless we have a pole on the side. Um, let's go ahead and put the corner pieces on. Right? Yeah. Alright, and then we're going to put one right here. And then we need one of the other corner pieces. They wouldn't in inside corner. Come on. Uh, how do we, there we go. It's weird, it's mouse wheel, but it's kind of like, I don't know. It's a little finicky. Is that right? I think that's right. Let's, let's build what we've got so far. Especially this one, I want to know if this is right. Alright, so we're going to need a couple logs. And we're also going to need the clay. Where'd I put that freaking log sled? There it is. There you are. Yeah. Try not to run through your logs really quickly because they will fly all over the place. Uh, clay, sounds good to me. Could hold a few more. Okay, and I'll grab two of these. Let's go finish this corner and make sure it's right. Yes, that is correct. Correct! Alright, so this one's going to be a corner piece, like so. Alright, and I think all the other ones are just regular old roof pieces. Oh, did I have that? It's weird, sometimes they'll let me build them and sometimes it won't. It's like, I don't know. It depends if your mouse is in the right position, I guess. There we go. All right, hold on. Come on. All right, let's just build what we got so far. All right, we are almost there. By the way, this right here is my favorite part of this entire world. I just love this area. A nice, imagine a nice rainstorm, a nice thunderstorm, and you're just kind of sitting here, just chilling out. I gotta put some furniture out here for real. Um, as a matter of fact, I should probably put the furniture out here before I put it in here. But, I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Not really sure. Anyway, let's finish what roof pieces we can. Okay, going through a lot of clay here, but that's to be expected. Okay, put these in there. By the way, these only take uh, a couple planks and one log. I like those things. Oh, are we done with all the roof pieces? I think we might be. I don't think we need any more planks up here. Like, at all. Well, maybe. Hold on, let's see. No plank, no plank, no... No plank. No planks. Yeah, I don't think we need any more... Any more planks up here. Yeah, just logs. Alright, so... Uh, well, let's get this out of here. Come on. There we go. And then I'm going to finish put, putting the railings all the way around. Okay, good, good, good. Good, good, good. Who wouldn't want to live here? This place is dope. Hell yeah, it is. This is by far the best... Uh, oh, that's a pain. Um, that's a real pain. This is by far the best place I've built in this game yet. Okay. So we got a problem here. So you know what? That's pretty simple, hopefully. Take that out. Uh, just put it in there. It doesn't matter. 
Alright, then we're gonna put a couple... Wait, it wasn't that? What the hell's the problem? Uh... Huh. What the frig? There's gotta be something below it. Is it because of the fence? What the hell would the fence have to do with anything? Well, let's move the fence then. Damn it, I can't move it from up here. The fence is the only thing that's the problem down here, so... I'm just gonna kinda move it out of the way for the time being. Okay, move that. Move that. Let's go up and see if we can put that stuff back on there. Honestly, I don't need that fence there anyway. Uh, I was always afraid that, like, Vambies were gonna come through that area. They never have. Like, never. So I probably don't need the fence there at all, but I kind of like it there. It makes me sleep better at night. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, that's what it was. That's so weird. That with the fence below cause a problem like that. Alright, so this is two from the side. So that's one and two. Oh, no! Oh, my God, I thought I was going to break. Dude, that really, I'd have pit my stomach from that. Oh, oh, boy. All right, and I guess we can put these back now. So weird. So weird. There we go. And put you right there. And put you right in there. Why isn't it locking on? Huh. That is interesting. I'm not sure why it's not locking on. Maybe we'll put that right like that. And then maybe that'll lock on. Yep, that one locks on. Okay. Looking good. Yeah, okay. Looking real good. This is my third trip of logs up there. I threw them all over the floor so I could build for you guys and not have you watch me coming up and down this place. Uh, is three log sleds going to be enough? I don't think so, but I think it's going to be really damn close. Um, I'm completely out of wood downstairs, by the way. Um, I, I still have some wood uh, in the form of planks. But completely out of logs. Oh, come on. There we go. And one more in that one. Two in this. Two. So two handfuls does three rails. Very good. Good to know. Good to know. Yeah, this place feels really cozy. It feels safe, cozy, out of harm's way. Warm, inviting, uh, cozy. <laughs> yeah, uh, really happy the way this has come out. There we go. My first build in this game was pretty freaking epic. My second build was kind of like a stilt base. I wouldn't recommend a stilt base. Uh, not not like the pro the, the stilt base works fine. It keeps you out of harm's way. The problem is it takes you forever to get stuff up there, like. Right now, like, I'm building a second floor. Honestly, the best way you could do in this game is build, like, a ranch-style house. One floor. That way you don't have to drag wood all over the freaking place. Okay. Yep, yeah, it's gonna take a couple more trips. And, uh, I'm all out of wood, so that means I'm gonna have to cut down trees. But that's alright. That alright, that's what they're there for, right? God... Treebeer would not be happy with me. Oh, this is the stuff, man. This is the stuff. This is what I want. I want this in real life. Like, seriously. I love video games. I love technology. Now, I could even, I could even have my phone out there. Um, but, man, just sitting on a porch like this, watching the rain. I, I wish it was downpouring. I'd like some kind of downpouring to where, like, it actually, like, like pours off the roof. Like, right there. Oh, man, that would be so good. Oh, I just want to go to sleep right now. Just thinking about it. But we can't because we need to finish it up. So let's do it right here. I mean, look at this. If we're, if we're kind of hanging out over here, we could easily fall right off. You know, we can't have that. So let's take care of this. And this. And then we got to do these up here. Okay, and one more trip should do it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, this is, um, 
Yeah, just... I just love it. I just love it. I don't like this. I don't like the fact that it's raining inside. We're definitely going to have to take care of the roof on the inside at some point. But, yeah. That is, uh... That ain't cool, man. Ain't cool. Definitely don't want that. Build a bed in there and it starts raining inside. That's that's awful. That is awful. Okay, I don't have any more logs. So I gotta come out here and chop some trees down. I think I see some good candidates over here. Just considering I didn't put spikes in front, this would be a good spot to do this. So the way you cut down trees in this game, if, you, if you're not gonna like cut down a ton, is you cut down one big tree, right? One big tree. There we go. And then you cut down one little tree, and that's exactly what you need to fill up your... your sled. Now you might be wondering, why am I not using the vehicle? It's because the vehicle is encased in this in this huge fence I have around my base. There's only one way out. Now, if there's trees over there to get, yeah, I'll use the vehicle. But over here, it's just, you know, it's just not worth it to take the vehicle out of here, drive all the way around over there. Plus, the vehicle's uh, pretty buggy. When it comes to, like, putting logs on there, it's, it's hard to find that sweet spot. You know, and um, the thing that sucks about that is by the time you do find the sweet spot, it's like, all right, well, I could have just used the log sled and it would have it would have actually been quicker. Because the, the log sled just, you know, is really smooth and moves around easier than the than the vehicle. So the vehicle's not as good it's not as good as I was hoping for carrying around logs, but I don't know. Maybe I yeah, I'll try it next time. Maybe maybe I'm just like not I mean, I didn't use it a lot of times to get logs. I just used it a couple times and I wasn't impressed. And there we go, people. All right, well, the upper deck is finished. The bottom deck is almost finished. There's just a couple of little things I need to do for the bottom deck, which will encompass... So we need to, we need to finish up the bottom deck, which is mostly going to be these little overhang things right here. Right? And then we need to finish the upper... Well, no, I mean, the upper deck's finished. I mean, I don't see anything else, except for, like, furniture and stuff. All right. So I can put that there, but then it's kind of a problem putting one here. I wonder if I could put one there once the other one's built. I forget how I did this, to be honest. This might be a problem. I might have to put, uh... Yeah. I might, I might have to put more of these, um... More of these poles down. Can we do this quickly? Yeah, we can do this quickly. Let's do this really quickly. I'm just kind of curious on how I did this over here. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna have to put down more poles. Which kind of sucks, because I don't like them every spot, but I might have a choice. I should have put these down. Nah, they, they work the same way. Yeah, see, I don't know how I'm supposed to put one on the side. I think I have to put poles on every side. Ugh. I kind of wish I had a better way of dealing with this. I'll think of something else. Maybe. Maybe I'll build it like this. Maybe I'll think of something else. I don't know. What we really need is one of these wooden pillars, except for half. We need a half wooden pillar. That would be the ultimate um, thing. But the, these half walls are just kind of a pain to put up here because they only they only go up in certain spots. It's just kind of... Ugh, what a hassle. I don't even know how I'd put one here. I'd probably have to put a pole here. We'd have to put a pole every... No, because I put one here. How did I put one there? So that one went there. That one went there. How did I get this one here? Honestly, I don't remember. Maybe I did it from the outside? No. I don't remember how I got that one there. Alright, well, I'll have to mess around with it. Anyway, guys, I am going to call this one here if you missed... Oops. <laughs> I am going to call this one here. If you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.